this video we will perform the uh, physical backup and restore of mysql database using mysql backup utility and we are working on db version 8.0.2.2 and on os version cent os 8 we will first perform the uh, image backup of the entire mysql instance image backup is nothing but uh, backing up all the data files and all other files into one single file so that it is convenient for us to either stream it to uh, to the cloud or to move to ship it to the other instance or uh, to back it up to tape uh, in fact only uh, image backup is only uh, is possible uh, if you want to back up to the cloud or if you want to back up to the tape so let us perform the image backup so this is my centos 8 mission let me try to connect this is my data directory and all the files uh, the binary log files redo log files uh, all the other data files everything uh, are there here let's create a sample database uh, and uh, two tables in it so that we can see how we are going to back up and restore the same So I just created two tables by name T1 and uh, T2 and I have inserted five records into T1 and three records into T2. So when I created the database DB1, it uh, would create a directory by name DB1 in the uh, data directory location. And if you go here, we can see the two data files, t1.ibd and t2.ibd. As this is version 8, we only have the IBDs, no .frm files from the version 8. Now let's try to back up uh, this MySQL instance. And as this is my vagrant box, I'll try to create a directory by name backup under the root. So this is just to create the backup of our MySQL instance. And this is the command to perform the uh, single file backup or image backup of the MySQL instance. Let's try to run the same. Uh, this is the utility and these are all the arguments we are passing the argument uh, uh, user so we are making use of the mysql backup user uh, to perform the backup and we will specify the password and we are saying this is the local host and backup image we want the you know, final file to be named as my.mba under uh, slash backup and uh, while the image backup is performed it would create some other files and we want those files to be created under slash backup backup temp so this will create the backup hyphen temp uh, automatically and we say that you know the backup is like backup to image with this let's run this and it's asking for password i just get the password and hit enter
okay when the backup is completed or when the restore is completed you need to see this uh, final command mysql uh, final output saying like mysql completed okay it started at this particular lsn and it ended at this particular lsn and if you scroll this we can see like the what are the files that been backed up all the binary log files are backed up and the lsn log sequence number information is provided and uh, uh, it has even backed up all the other uh, you know directories inside the data directory and all other files read log files binary log index file and all other metadata also so if we go into the backup we can see okay this is my image file backup in this particular file all the files of the database are being backed up since our database is so small with only two user dependent tables it completed really fast and as i said this is the file uh, this is the directory which it made use of to create some other files we will go and see them okay this is the metadata uh, of about this backup uh, if we see this uh, this server iphone my.cnf will show the uh, variables uh, that the user has specified uh, the non default variable values now you can see them these are the variable values that have explicitly specified so it uh, uh, wrote those explicitly specified variable values in server iphone my.cnf and all the default and non default values of all the variables will be written in server hyphen all dot my server hyphen all dot cnf we will check that it will be a really big file so these are all the variable values that it made used and it contains even the default and the non default one also uh, i specified my data directory here you see the data directory and all other things will be there here and uh, if you go into the meta folder uh, and this is the command that i specified during the backup mysql backup hyphen user hyphen password host backup image this is a command and this is the um, other information about the same and uh, backup variables now the backup variables like you know the binary log index binary log position start lsn end lsn and all other uh, details And these are all the different files and their sizes i mean like uh, uh, the different files of the mysql database and these are all the files that are there in that uh, image backup binary log files system data file undo data file and uh, all other files these are the files uh, you know our user created uh, database db1 and db2 and mysql backup uh, you know it uh, uh, tracks the metadata inside the database using these two uh, tables backup progress and backup history so it took the backup of all those also everything in the mysql instance okay my.mba is the actual image file now let's uh, create a situation where we have lost our uh, entire uh, uh, data directory 
my data directory is in location where lib mysql this is my data directory let's imagine a situation where you have lost it uh, let me rename it as Let me rename it as that way and let me try to connect to this instance. Yeah, you can't really connect because uh, it can't access the mysql.soc which is there in this particular location only and we have renamed it. So before we perform the restore we need to shut down instance and let me stop the mysql instance so that uh, it does not restart again so mysql is completely stopped now that the mysql instance is shut down safely before restoring let's see how we can validate the backup this command helps to validate the backup uh, that we have just taken. Uh, MySQL backup and the backup image we are just specifying where is our backup image under slash backup my.mbi and validate is option to validate the backup. Let's run this. And it says like you know MySQL backup completed. Okay, it says like you know the backup uh, is validated properly. Now let's try to restore this backup. Again, MySQL backup utility we are invoking, and uh, yeah, we are saying we are using user MySQL backup to perform the restore operation. And backup image this is the file where we are having the actual backup image, uh, single file backup. And uh, as part of the restore, it is supposed to write uh, some of the uh, files, and uh, we are specifying this location to make use of uh, writing those uh, files. And we want the data directory to be restored into this location. This is the actual command to perform the restore copy back and apply the logs so that it is brought uh, uh, restored to the full. So again, it started the restore and it says like MySQL backup completed. Uh, okay, with the three warnings. That's okay. Now, go to our where lib and uh, mysql this is the folder that we just restore now we got everything back this is our db1 two data files okay. and uh, let's rename this to auto.cnf This is your uh, server UID, and this file needs to be named to auto.cnf. And after the restore. After the restore, change the ownership. The user and the group of the directory to MySQL. Okay, now let's try to start the MySQL. Day. Let's try to access the instance. And see if we are able to access our DB1. Yes. And uh, show tables to see all the tables. Okay. Select star from D1. And the select file records and select star from t2 records so we just performed a sample uh, um, 
and we just performed one example of the backup that is the image backup wherein all the files of the database will be backed up into one single file and uh, we have restored the complete database from the image backup uh, if we want to back it up uh, if we want to back up our mysql instance to tape or to any uh, cloud provider like uh, oracle object storage bucket or to any other location uh, only the image backup is the possible method uh, let's see as part of the restore operation what it has created under the restore and temp directory that we specified this is the restore and temp and this is a backup configuration and server hyphen my which we discussed server hyphen all uh, which pro, which will have all the variable values default and non-default and server hyphen my will only have the non-default variable values let's go into the meta and uh, this is the again the backup content which we discussed earlier and uh, let's see what is there in the data directory and this is a log file uh, that is created as part of the restore uh, actually as part of the backup process uh, while the backup is running whatever the changes are being made and committed we need to back those up and uh, while the backup is actually running the changes that have been returned to the read log and uh, committed we need to take care of them so those are uh, backed up into the um, actual backup and as part of the restore it restores that uh, into this file and uh, the operations on this file are applied to the backup so that it is consistent and uh, let's see one more comment to see the uh, list of all the files uh, uh, that are there in that uh, image backup there is one more command that helps us apart from the metadata folder mysql backup and then we are specifying the user and then we are specifying the location of the actual image backup file and we are saying list image list the contents of all list the contents of this uh, image backup so that image backup has actually backed up all, has actually backed up all these uh, files you can see here all the uh, you know backup auto and then the system undo table space and all other files of the mysql and sys uh, database and uh, db on our own database and then the binary log files and then the mysql performance schema everything it has backed up everything so we can uh, see the sizes of it and their names in fact we actually check the same as part of the backup metadata uh, let me show you one more time cd backup hyphen 10 cd meta this file backup content will also have the same thing as well it also have the same thing along with the checksum of each file but this is an xml file whereas the other thing we can actually view those in a very clean manner the names and the sizes of all the files if we want to increase the performance of our backup and restore operations we can do that by increasing the number of read and write threads. Let me show you. Uh, by default, uh, one read thread and uh, one write thread uh, were allocated for this job. And if you want to increase the performance, we can add more read threads so that it can read the uh, data fastly during the backup operation and uh, more write threads so that it can write the data fastly during the backup operation. And also we can increase these process threads in case we are in, uh, encrypting our backup or in case if we are trying to compress our backup. In those operations, if we increase the process threads, it increases the performance. And uh, when we increase these, uh, these are passed as arguments to our MySQL backup. And when we increase these uh, threads, we are supposed to uh, uh, provide the sufficient memory for them by increasing the memory limit parameter that is also passed as a argument to the MySQL job. Uh, with that, uh, let's move on how to perform an incremental image backup and restore in our next video. Thank you for watching.